up you guys i'm back today with another video skinny girls wait the models don't compare junk in the trunk looking like two pairs you can't get I was just in New Orleans a couple of weeks ago, y'all. I went to Melba's and had this this dish called yellow corn grits with some like Cajun shrimp, and it blew me away. I never had grits like that. It's yellow corn grits and had like bits and pieces of corn in it, y'all. I was blown away, so I had to come back home and recreate that recipe. So, um, y'all. I'm about to show you guys my copycat Melba's yellow corn grits with Cajun shrimp, okay? Um, I think I got it. We are gonna see, okay? I'm gonna see if I can make it come out to be like as good as Melba's because it's so good. So we're gonna see how I put it together. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so here's what we're gonna be using to make my version of Melba's Cajun shrimp and corn grits. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to change up the recipe a little bit only because Melba's um, shrimp and grits are a little like drier. Well, not dry per se, but they don't have a sauce. And I like a sauce with my shrimp and grits. Like I like that, you know, nice garlicky butter over my grits. So that's the only thing that I'm going to like have um, that's going to be different in this recipe. Our Cajun shrimp are gonna have like a little sauce that you're gonna pour over your grits, okay? So this is what we're gonna be using. Of course, right here we have our yellow corn grits or polenta yellow corn grits and polenta is the same thing, okay? I have some salt here. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. You can of course use whatever salt you like, some pepper. I have some frozen corn right here. You can of course use canned corn, just drain it. But I prefer uh, frozen um, veggies, okay? I have some sweet cream salted butter. I have a scallion right here that I'm going to use for garnish. They didn't do that either at Melba's. But yeah, you guys know I'm a cook. So, you know, the rest of Melba's was bomb. But I'm going to try to see if I can make it a little better, okay? I'm just going to put it out there, all right? So, right here I have some olive oil. Some slap your mama seasoning, some Tony's. Um, I have some raw jumbo shrimp. This is gonna be different too from um, Melba's recipe because with their shrimp and grits, they use smaller shrimp. But of course, you know they're making you know a bigger quantity for the masses and whatever. But I'm gonna use bigger shrimp. All right, so we have our um, jumbo shrimp right there. Some chicken broth some minced garlic some half and half i see a lot of recipes um make this with heavy cream but i want my i want to use half and half just to make it a little bit less dense and more creamy and some lime juice okay this is all we're going to be needing to make my version of melba's cajun shrimp and corn grits all right so let's get started on these grits it's a pretty, you know, it's easy to put together, all right? Okay, you guys, so I have my pot heating up. I'm not making like a big serving of this because right now it's only me here. And, you know, with grits, you pretty much have to eat them when you cook it. I don't really like to reheat grits. I mean, some people do, I don't really. But, um,. So first, I'm gonna go in with a cup and a half of chicken broth. So. Okay, y'all see that? All right. I have my um, heat in the pot at medium right now. So if you have an electric stove like me, medium is like around five. Now we're going to add a cup of half and half. If you're making more, you can always double and triple this recipe. Do you, boo? 
That's a cup right there. Half and half. Next, I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. An eighth of a teaspoon of um, ground black pepper. And now we're going to go ahead and bring this up to a boil. Okay, you guys, so our um, chicken broth and half and half is starting to boil. Next, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of the sweet cream salted butter. And then I'm going to put in one cup of the yellow corn grits. All right, so now that I added my grits, I'm going to turn my stove on to low. So if you have an electric stove like me, so if you have an electric stove like me, I just turned it down to two, okay? So, grits, you have to be very careful because you know they can pop you. These corn grits is gonna cook for like 10 minutes, okay? So when you first initially put them in a pot, you wanna keep stirring them, just so you don't get lumps. You want nice, smooth, creamy grits. Once it starts to thicken a little bit, then I'm gonna add the corn. Okay, so you can see our grits is starting to thicken up. See the texture? See that? Now I'm going to add half a cup of the um, sweet corn. Now I'm gonna mix this up. And then I'm just going to turn my fire, my uh, stove on super low, you know, pretty much warm. And I'm just gonna let this do what I do for like five minutes or so, cause you know, it takes practically nothing for the shrimp to cook. So we're gonna go ahead and start that shrimp. But y'all look at these grits so far. Look at that. You cannot tell me that it does not look good. Look at that. Doesn't this look just like theirs? Perfect, right? Okay. So, I just have my stove on low. I'm just gonna let these cook for a few minutes. Oh my gosh, you guys. These grits look so good. They are coming out perfect. Y'all, I don't know where they came out with this recipe, but I am so here for it. It's so good. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put these to the back on super low, and then we're going to do these shrimp, right? I'm going to put a tablespoon of butter in the pan and a teaspoon of olive oil. Next, I'm going to add a teaspoon of minced garlic. Mm. Just butter and garlic smells so good when it starts to warm up. Oh my gosh. So I went and I cleaned and took the shells and deveined my shrimp. See, these are nice and clean. This is just for me. So this is like, I think like eight shrimp. Of course, if you're making more, then make more. You can double, triple, quadruple this recipe. Next, I'm going to put in a teaspoon of the lime juice. Just going to brighten that up. I have my stove on medium. Now I'm gonna add just some of this Slap Yo Mama. Super simple shrimp recipe. Okay. A little Tony's. I 
And then we're just going to cook these until it turns pink. Very super easy. See that sauce that's in this pan? Oh, it's gonna be so flavorful on these grits. So those are going. So my grits is still there in the back on low. Let's check them. Ooh, look at that. That is perfect. Y'all see that? These are friggin' perfect. Perfect corn grits. Don't it look just exactly like Melba's? Nice and thick. And you can see the seasoning in there. You know it's going to be flavorful. Perfect. I'm going to turn these off. Okay, so these shrimp are looking pretty much done. I'm just going to finish it off with a little bit more Tony's lightly just for the color and presentation. Not a lot. It may look a lot, but I'm like gently tapping it. I don't want a lot to come out. This is just for presentation. Just so you can see like the bits and pieces of the spices. See that? This is done, y'all. Let's plate it up. Okay, you guys, so hubby just got home. Babe, you have to try my version of Melba's Cajun Shrimp and Corn Grits. Um, of course, you tasted it in New Orleans also, so let's try it. Yeah. Like a king size mattress for the price of a queen. That's a king for the price of a queen. Starting at an amazingly large $6.99. Choose from... What's good? Thank you. Are you going in for some more? All right. Oh my gosh, you guys. Did y'all see that? So yeah, that was my copycat Melba's Cajun shrimp with yellow corn grits. I really hope you guys try out this recipe. When you do, tag me on Snapchat, Instagram, email me. Do whatever you need to do so I see your version of my recipe. I really love when you guys do that. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Whoa, don't slip up or get caught. Why not, man? I'm coming for that number one spot.